My name is John McCarthy and this is my story. As a surfer, you're always just looking for the perfect wave, like the, the best wave. As a surfer, traveling is definitely part of my DNA. In the year 2000, I experienced the most epic surf journey of my life. Uh, first of all, we went to Hawaii. We surfed big waves at Sunset Beach on the north shore of Oahu. And then we went to California. Uh, we bought an old beat up truck, a Chevy truck, and we started out on our epic adventure to South America. We went through Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama and this was the trip of a lifetime. We surfed some of the most incredible waves. On another surfing trip, I was in Byron Bay, uh, which is a hippie kind of yoga alternative town in, on the east coast of Australia. I started doing yoga with the dream of keeping my body young and fit for as long as possible for surfing. Uh, so I ate in the Hare Krishna restaurants, I, I read their books on spirituality. I didn't particularly know at the time, but there was a strong search going on, not just for waves, but there was a search going on inside of me. And I was desperately hungry for something more in life. And my surf trip next, it took me to Indonesia, to the island of Sumbawa in Lakey Peak. I'd surf all morning and then the wind would come onshore during the day and I'd read the Gospel of Matthew. I was really drawn to the person of Jesus and the verse that really spoke to me about how Jesus was different, it's in Mark 10 and it says, the Son of Man, he did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. I was searching for love and for meaning and Jesus, the servant king, he was just feeding my hungry soul. I told my closest friends, I think I'm a Christian now. And I went back to church every Sunday. I tried to be good, uh, but I was still very mixed up in my beliefs. But over the next six months, I drifted back into my old habits and I ended up in a relationship that was very unhealthy. And my life took a turn for the worst. And I knew that I needed God's help. 12 months later, I went back to the Christian Surfers UK uh, annual event, and I was now ready to hear the good news of Jesus. As the message that day was, was preached on that Saturday night at the meeting, I heard with fresh understanding that Jesus died on a cross for me and that he gave himself so that I could have my sins forgiven and receive the gift of everlasting life. I knew my guilt, the guilt of my sin, and I knew in my heart that I needed Jesus. And then at night I experienced the love and the forgiveness as I surrendered my life to Jesus, my Savior. Jesus did a miracle in my heart. He transformed my heart. And that moment changed my life forever. After traveling the world, my search for the perfect wave seems to be over because I came back to Ireland and I was with a group of guys and we found this giant wave at the bottom of the Cliffs of Moher on the west coast of Ireland. And so just like uh, the search for waves was over when we found this wave, my search for love and meaning is also over in a relationship that I found with Jesus Christ. There goes John.